<laughs> that's about pedal to the metal at this point in his life. Good thing he didn't step on that leash. <laughs> that was yeah. in trouble, right? <laughs> well, that's why we have the harness on him. Yeah, he's a little <laughs> right, bit safer exactly. with the harness. <laughs> hey, take a look at this. This is pretty cool, right? This is drone video. Uh, thanks to Jeff Beeson for sharing this with us. Homeland Aerial is around Boone today. Yeah, it can be pretty, right? And Boone saw more than a foot of snow. All right, let's take a look at another weather camera view that we have closer to our area. This is High Point, and you can see earlier today the snow flying around, even a little bit wet, right? There were at times some sleep pellets and even a little freezing rain in our area, but it'd make for some pretty pictures. It wasn't a whole lot of fun to play in, and yeah, it's hard work. Look at this. Dad and his young son clearing the sleet and the snow in their driveway in Winston-Salem. Thanks for sharing your pictures. Rena Wilcox with her goldens out there enjoying the snow. There's a viewer photo with the measuring of the snow in Wilkes County. Three inches in Tyro in Davidson County. Three inches of snow and sleet. Let me run through some of these totals. I mentioned that more than a foot in Boone at 13 inches and that will keep going up because snow is still in the forecast for Boone and Blowing Rock overnight early tomorrow. Five and a half inches in Maple Springs. That's in Wilkes County. Seven inches in Lawsonville. Up there in Stokes County in Eden, three and a half inches. Stokesdale, five and a half. East Bend at three. Clemens, four inches. Winston Salem, three and a half inches. Greensboro, three. High Point at three. Colfax at five. So on average, I would say about two to four, but some folks seeing closer to five. And then lesser amounts down to the south and to the east. And then this really did kind of pan out well. We made some adjustments last night, knowing there was going to be some more sleet into this weather system. I think our totals held up pretty well. I know you'd like to have had more snow and less sleet, but I also know that you're glad we had more sleet and less freezing rain. All right, we have a winter weather advisory that is out across the Piedmont Triad for tonight. That winter storm morning, I think they're going to let drop at midnight. So the alert for tomorrow morning, of course, for everyone is going to be black ice, slick spots, hazardous travel, plan on slippery road conditions out there in the morning. We're spinning away here. Low pressure is moving north and east and like spokes on a wheel, these little waves are rotating around it. So you've got one pushing through right now. You heard Bill there in Greensboro say that there's a very light snow coming down and you can see that little snow batch there. Greensboro over to Burlington just east of High Point and yes, yeah, some light to even moderate snow. We're not anticipating that this is going to add much to the totals. Maybe a little light dusting or coating and we also still have some snow flying from Galax up toward Hillsville. Where we're talking about five, six, seven inches of snow in that area and not looking for much additional snow in those communities. Maybe another half inch, but you could see another few inches on those west facing slopes of the mountains. Temperatures in Boone 24, Sparta 21, 24 at Meadows of Dan, Pilot Mountain at 28. We are in the solid 20s across the region, 26 in High Point and 29 in Reedsville. Thankfully, the wind has come down at least for now. It will kick back up as forecast wind gusts overnight. As another little wave passes through, we will see wind gusts back up to 30 in the overnight and then into tomorrow morning. I'm going to stress this because as you go to bed tonight, Yes, you could lose power tonight because the wind gusts are going to be going up again into tomorrow. Wind gusts tomorrow at 30 miles an hour. So we're not done with the wind. It's just sort of relaxed right now. Wind chill values will be in the teens and even some single digits during the day tomorrow. So it'll feel like it's in the 20s, even though I think we're going to get high temperatures just barely above freezing in the triad. You factor in that wind out of the west at 15 to 30. It feels like it's in the 20s. I do think we'll see a little bit of sunshine mixed with with clouds in the triad. We should have some sunshine and cloud cover as well in the foothills, so kind of partly cloudy. High temperatures barely above freezing. We don't get above freezing in the mountains, and the snow showers continue through at least early afternoon before tapering off. And we're not going to see a lot of melting initially this week. I think we probably won't see much melting until maybe Wednesday. It'll warm up. There is another weather system out there. Do I dare even speak of it? I have to show it to you on the seven day forecast. We're going to chase Christine back to Florida. I know we are. We've got highs that are only in the 30s and 40s. It's not always like this, Christine. We do have a chance for a rain snow mix Thursday. It's possible. Just just anchor with your eyes closed for the rest of the month. Well, as we head to break on this frozen mid January night, here's everybody's favorite snowman, Olaf. It's going to take a lot of warm hugs to melt him. 
Ray and Heather Smith's four month old pup enjoyed her first snow today. That's a happy dog. That's a dog that likes the snow. And here's one of my favorites, old Tully the Pug. Some snow and ice didn't keep him from taking a walk in the city of Winston-Salem.